Caprice and Ella. An Aver and Zen Digital Media Production. Starring Caprice Zen. Ella Zen. Also starring Brie Anna Sorensen. Ava Zinn. With guest stars Donna Dugan. Maribel Mort. Hank Cash. George Williamston. Rachel Passalt. And me. I'm Carly Jameson. Tonight's episode. Addressing Concerns 3. a difference. Now, if you watched Caprice and Ella two weeks ago, my hair was dark blonde. And I gotta tell you, I've been bleaching my hair out for years. Then it went red. And then they put a permanent dye in it. And then it went blue. And I decided to go the patriotic route and go red, white, and blue. Although, I do like this shade of gray. Yes, this is my real hair. It's not a wig. So, that is currently natural color at this time. This is my first interview after saying goodbye to the talk show circuit. But you know Ava Zinn is on The Carly Jameson Show and this has been Nuthouse here today. The press has just gone batty. You may have heard or read about her in the past few weeks. I've never heard about a 40-year-old trans woman with gray hair getting this much publicity in 2023 compared to a woman going curly hair in 2016. But people, all these press, Everybody's here to find out about Caprice and Ella, the movie. Please welcome my very best friend, Ava Zinn. Let's start with question number one. What the hell were you thinking? Well, what happened was, it was during a session of my portfolio preparation course, and we were doing a mock interview in class and one particular question was what environment would you prefer to work in and I described it to the best of my ability and uh, also remembered a saying that similar to the scenes of Ava's makeover on Queen of the Willis and Ava's got um, her wicked game on the previous episode. I'm, I'm swearing a lot at, on, a, on a professional basis and sometimes it's necessary.
what has been a reaction from the American public? Yeah, it, it wasn't part of the scene of Ava's got her wicked game on. But after I downloaded the Zoom session at my first available opportunity and watched it back, I... And it wasn't until I got alerted. And that's when I realized the mistake was made. And obviously, I knew what I did was wrong. But um, what I did do was, I did have... I was wearing a black hoodie with a bra underneath. And I showed no more than three inches. So, so this was, now, now pretend I had this uh, jacket on. And it was open like no more than three inches. And... As you know, the Fort Wayne community was stunned to learn this type of thing was going on. And that's when I did the bad deed. Yet you know that this is a unique city and that people seem to react both with glee when someone has been successful. Something bad happens and people love to be the first to jump in there and admit I am guilty. As far as the loot out goes, resigning from the portfolio preparation course and being on probation for the remainder of the spring semester was the right decision. I would have done the same thing. Was I trying to pull another Brandy Chastain? No. But, um, the American public, particularly those here in Fort Wayne, have for the most part been supportive and those people who are important to me, Brianna, Caprice, Ella, and my family, and to some extent my friends like you, Donna, Rachel, and my staff and consultants. They've been really awesome. Do you find the Fort Wayne reaction different? From the Grant County reaction, uh, I am quite aware that this has been quite the field day that it has become. And as I had said, uh, this could have easily have been the Fort Wayne version of 927. But March 21st, 2023 is going to be the Fort Wayne version of April 18th, 1996. I had no idea what April 18th, 1996 was until the other Nelson. Carly fell me in. Yeah. Rachel did not have any clue until she called me about being concerned about you. You know, I completely understand um, everyone having a good joke about it, and you know, it would be hysterical backlash. And I, I'm sure by now, but it's not funny when you when you have someone like that because I, I've, I've pretty much done a really bad thing. And Brianna's been amazing about it. She's being very supportive. And we're going to try to work it out. Of course, the press has just been harping on you and Brianna. Your girlfriend Brianna. I mean because again she's in another horrible situation here in terms of the press and all. How do you feel this will affect your career or even this picture? What do you think? Well obviously if this was 1995 and I'm quoting Hugh Grant, I would say that this was one of the so many bad things about it. I, I just do not know where to begin but one of them has to be shame and embarrassment that I caused the people that I've 
been working with the last year on this film, and as well as Ivy Tech Fort Wayne. But because it's 2023 with new technology and social media, Carly, I would ex I would expect that a few prospective employers would say I would be admonished for showing that lousy judgment and. While that l lousy judgment was wrong, my years of faithful work as a broadcast journalist, uh, MMJ, and uh, as well as film, TV, producing and directing, and good judgment should outweigh that. I must say, we don't see people like you that admire your honoring the commitment because everybody is, so you know a lot of times and things happen suddenly, people run off, and they hide behind the press, people and what not. Yeah, that's, this is exactly what Jay Leno said to Hugh Grant in 1995. You'll get past this experience. Yeah, aside from the fact that I'm on probation for the rest of, me rest of the spring semester and not going to graduate from Ivy Tech until December 2023. Thank you, Carly. Nice off the dot it is. So the big thing, and it's one of the things that he mentioned to you, and I mentioned to you. It's definitely better. I'm glad you got these cans emptied out. Yeah. Brianna, long time no see. I heard you are now on Capri Sanella. Thanks, Donna. It was nice seeing you again. Congratulations on that as well as the twins. What sort of person is going to love this character you're playing? The coolest thing about Capri Sanella is playing myself, and the sort of person who will love me are women 18 to 49 and parents. What do you love about this character? I love it that I get to be myself and portraying as Ava's girlfriend. What do you hate about this character? The only thing I hate is the fact that Caprice does scratch, hiss, and bites me as does Ella humping my arms and legs. That is also a challenge on taking on the role. Besides yourself, what celebrity would you like to see tackle this character? Kelly Martin would portray me and Candace Kane would likely portray Ava. Besides yourself, which actor in this production is going to blow people away? Ava Zinn. Because she is an amazing executive producer and personality. If you could play any other character in this show, who would it be? As there are no other characters, I would likely play the role of professor in the film. Well. Thank you for coming on, and we look forward to seeing the film. Now, in case you didn't see the last episode, I'm Donna Dugan, and I'm a new cast member of Capri Sanella. I am excited to join the cast, as is Jackson. Thank you to Ava Zim. I want to discuss Capri Sanella, the movie. What sort of person is going to love this film, Capri Sanella, the movie? Well, the sort of people who are likely going to watch the film are people who love cats and dogs, particularly uh, Eddie Murphy in uh, Dr. Doodle and Problem Child 1 and 2. 
which basically gave me some inspiration. And, uh, it's basically what, what Caprice and All the Movie is about. It's basically Problem Child and Problem Child 2, only Caprice and Ella are, are basically Junior Healy. What's challenging about bringing this script to life? I'd say the challenging part of bringing the script to life was obviously uh, the use of profanity. And since there are three children in the cast, I also wrote a PG version of the script for them, in addition to the R-rated version for adults. And I know there are concerns of my use of profanity. Is gonna be carried over to the movie, and I hope it doesn't. Why did you want to be involved in this production? There was an assignment in my video and sound class of which the assignment was a film trailer. And I did two versions. The version I turned in to Professor Rachel Von Stroop was obviously for the Ivy Tech version. And the other version is, well, the only difference is that there are songs in the Caprice and All the Movie soundtrack. And you do see some shows be adapted into film, and this is my first live-action film. How is this production bringing something new to this story? What will be new is the fact that a wedding does take place at the end of the film, and Brianna going into the labor and delivering twins. Because I uh, incorporated her pregnancy in, onto the Caprice and all the series, and as well as a movie. What's going to surprise people about this film? Um, the biggest surprises are Jackson Dugan. The three grandchildren of mine, uh, Leah, Allison, and Michael II, as well as their parents, uh, Jenna, who is Allison's mother, and uh, Martin Becker, who is Michael and Leah's father, are going to be portrayed by actors instead of themselves. And this is mostly due to child labor laws in the state of Indiana. Well, thank you for coming on, and we look forward to seeing the film. I have decided to do a follow-up on, on an episode that really got a lot of people's attention. And especially after a girl's wheelchair was basically uh, pushed through the stairs and the wheelchair broke. A viral video showing the son of Philadelphia Flyers interim general manager is sparking outrage. Danny Breer's son is seen pushing a wheelchair down a flight of stairs at a bar. Alicia's here now with that video and the string of apologies that followed, Alicia, huh? Look, this video is really disturbing. It has been making the rounds on social media, and Danny Briere is calling the actions of his son Carson inexcusable after that video first surfaced on Twitter. This all happened Saturday night at a bar near the campus of Mercyhurst University in Erie, Pennsylvania. Take a look at the video. In it, we see Carson wearing a white hat and the black shirt there, tossing a woman's wheelchair down the stairs. One of the people who commented on Twitter, Julia Zukowski, writes, I just can't stomach the thought of this kid getting away with it and she identifies him as of course current mercy her student and that is why I decided to do a follow-up so um, what happened was and now there's clearly no elevator and
And when I first uh, used the wheelchair, it was right around there. Where am I? The, right around the cane. And people got mad. Oh, they were mad because... Yeah, they were really mad. Yeah, they were mad. And I'm not talking mad, mad. But, um, they were really mad as hell. Enough to warrant the lease violation. And later find out it was a trip, uh, pretty much a, either a trip hazard or a fire hazard, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, those stairs are my enemy. Yeah, because this is why, if there's no elevator, no wheelchair is allowed up here. And, uh, it's such a shame that I had to fight tooth and nail just to get a transfer to the first floor apartment here at Golfio. But I'll let you know when that happens. And then the real recovery begins. And it's unfortunate. It took three back injuries since November 1st, two lease violations since I've been here, and caprice hissing, nearly 400 times at Golfview staff and management, and Ella barking and growling only 38 times. And, uh, thank goodness for my girlfriend, Brianna. She really gave them a piece of her vagina. Just as I pretty much gave someone a piece of my mind. And thank goodness... Uh, that wheelchair I ended up throwing out. Turned out it was gathering rust. But watching that viral video from Erie, Pennsylvania, I imagine this was it would be my wheelchair. Now, if somebody did that to me, I would do this. This little kitty. Yeah? Would claw. Fight. Attack and hiss. This dog. Will growl, lunge, and bite. My fists, a good working foot, a beer bottle, empty beer bottle, and oh, you do not want to know.
Want more Caprice and Ella? Subscribe to our channel and get notified of new videos. Also visit capriceandella.avazin.com for updates and watch full episodes now in 4K Ultra High Definition.